guys, I'm JJ Wester Barbie, Queen of Stars, Fairy of Love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. I have good news for you today at the end of the show. This week the sun is in the sign of Pisces, so happy birthday to you Pisces. The moon will travel in the signs of Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius. And Saturday is a big day because Mercury, planet of communication and free thinking Aquarius, will enter emotional waters of Pisces. For the next three weeks, thinking will become less intellectual not so rational but much more sensitive visual intuitive and imaginative the challenge though is to really dream grandioso while keeping your feet firmly in the ground this is pretty much for the next three weeks also saturday mars planet of war energy and of life will take a temporary leave of absence from scorpio where it started the year and enter in idealistic Sagittarius until the end of May. Dun, 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 that's a big deal. Everything with immigration law, everything to do with the elections, politics, education will get unexpected turn around for on the good side of history. It will start to be a little bit more. It's not perfect, but it's turning around on the good side of history. Okay, so love will conquer the hate, trust me. I mean, justice is awaiting for the pure in heart and the little kick in the behind Z for the people who can people. Since now, lucky Jupiter is retrograding in Virgo, the, the, the sign of perfection and all the details and health, the Jupiterian luck influence of Mercury in Pisces and Jupiter in Mars in Sagittarius, both ruled by Jupiter, will be diminished a little bit. These days, somehow, what goes around comes around quite quickly. Best news of the week? Well, on Monday, we will be having an extra day in February. February the 29th, Ta every four years. And 2016 is a leap year. Every year we have one. This is the one this year. And that's the good news. The good news is that all the ladies, okay, my sisters of the Zodiac, Yes, you are in a leap year. That means that now the universe and the astrology and the tradition gives women the chance and the power to propose marriage to their man. So if you're single and you're going out with somebody so serious in a dating serious relationship, take the lead, get on your knees and say, will you? It's also said that unions made especially if women propose, but also for everyone who proposes, unions, romantic unions made in leap years, usually are very happy and long lasting. So this is the year to tie the knot. Isn't that a good surprise? 